So I just got to my nanny job. It is 8.26. I don't have to be in there until 8.30. But you know, I don't have to clock in <laughs> or anything. So I'll probably give about two more minutes, three and a half minutes, and then go in there. Because you know, <coughs> she may be trying to you know, finish up getting ready or getting the kids ready. So I like to you know, ring the bell right at 8.30. Um, so right now, I'm currently sitting in my car. It's about a 20 minute drive, but not bad. Um, this is actually my third day here. Um, and so far I like it really sweet people really nice um, the little boy he's 14 months and the little girl she's six but she does virtual school upstairs most of the day with mom only time I really like have her with me um, is when like she puts the baby down for nap his morning nap and then um, the little girl has a break from school and then me and her play together but so far I really like it um, it's giving me everything you know so far that I need I'm still able to bring my camera record i'm still able to promote my youtube videos you know upload my um pictures to instagram and things like that so hopefully you guys are going to like this day in the life of a full-time nanny part-time nanny but full-time nanny <laughs> um videos because y'all gonna be getting a lot of those um and yeah so today is mostly just gonna consist of playing with him um he normally already has breakfast and then we have lunch about 11 30 between depending on what time he wakes up is when we have lunch um, I do lunch with him and then I'm gonna take him for a morning walk depending on you know how the weather is I know it's cold outside but you know with his winter jacket and the stroller and then when the sun is out like even though it's cold outside but when the sun is like kind of beaming on you it's not as hot outside so I plan on going for a morning walk with him maybe about um, maybe about 9 30 ish um, like I said depending on if the sun comes out today if the sun oh yeah well the sun is peaking back there so it'll come out today and we'll go for a little morning walk and I'll probably go live on YouTube um, during that time frame because listen I had to get on um, I had to get on cricket last night on um, my phone service because I told him I said if I'm not around Wi-Fi my phone acts like I can't get on YouTube Instagram Facebook nothing like why is it that if I'm not you know in my house or at her house with Wi-Fi my internet service is you know acting janky so they had me reset my network connection and everything like that so we'll see what's going on and you know depending on when we walk how my service does I don't know how it goes um but anyways good morning I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see y'all in a little bit hold up I am on my way I'm in motion let's go to the ocean yeah let's go outside we can hang out on the beach with our free isn't that amazing in Christmas times we'll be chilling and having a uh, so we're just doing that it's still early it's 9 20 so we'll do this for a while and then about 10 o'clock he'll go down for his morning nap and then whenever he wakes up we'll do lunch and then we'll go on our little walk for the park whoa uh -oh. you are cramming your mouth my goodness, you did not cram your mouth like that. <clears throat> He's over here cramming his mouth, you guys. He is all boy, trust me. <laughs> um, chew it up. Where's your water? You want your water? We gotta find where your water is. But yeah, so he's just doing that. We're just having our little morning play. And then we'll go for our walk. And then I'll probably film again. We'll go for our little walk. And then when I get home, I have to cook some chicken. I'll probably make like the chicken bacon ranch. And I'll show you guys of me doing that. And then um, I'll probably make like some broccoli and cheese with it. Something really, you know, something quick but good. And because I'm going to start meal prepping um, like this weekend. I'm going to go buy a scale from Walmart. Um, so I can start weighing my food in ounces. <gasps> <Ooh. gasps> <gasps> 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 He's so silly. <laughs> um, so I can start weighing my food, and I got my I forgot my water bottle, but she has like tall eight ounce, sixteen ounce glasses. So I'm drinking. I probably try to do about 
six or seven of those before I go um, at 1.30 and then I go home. I'll do another uh -oh. few and then I'm not trying to eat past like four or five. That's my goal. So restarting keto today. I'm going to have a little slip up over the holidays and stuff, but I'm back on it. So we're going to play and I will see you guys in a bit. go outside the snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun the snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine we're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and while all right you guys all right you guys so we went for our little walk and now i'm back in the car it is 1 32 so i am off now I'm about to go ahead and head to the house um, I need to shower and start on dinner. I'll probably go live while I do dinner, which you guys probably already seen that part. <laughs> um, but I'll definitely probably go live when I cook dinner. Just so go ahead and get my watch time and stuff like that and interact with you guys. Um, so I will see you guys when I get home. 20 minute ride. So let's go. watching a video um about people who who, who uh, other people who do keto i'm watching a video on this guy he's talking about how to get back into ketosis fast so i'm starting over tomorrow don't judge me um and i'm also watching marriage and motherhood motherhood and marriage i think it's motherhood and marriage i think um y'all know what i'm talking about if y'all watch videos like that and she does like what i eat in a day type of videos on keto so when i get done cooking i'm making some bacon and i have chicken in the y'all can't see that yeah i have chicken in the oven and then i'm gonna make some cauliflower rice um and i'm just gonna do like creamy bacon chicken and ranch with some cauliflower rice and then i'll eat dinner when matthew gets home but i'm gonna make me a keto meal plan like i'm gonna start going shopping either when i get off of work because i get off at 1 30 so i can go during the week um this week particularly tomorrow's thursday and then friday so probably friday um or saturday once you one works best for me and matthew i'm gonna go to walmart and get me a food scale i'm getting me stuff to make my bulletproof coffee my little bullet thing to spin it around in the coffee thing um and i'm gonna go ahead and meal prep i'm gonna start meal prepping i have these containers up there right here that i've never even used it's five of them they have a part for like the chicken and the vegetables and they have a part for like your your other looks like a three sectional thing so i'm gonna start using that i'm gonna start getting my meals prepped in together um of course if matthew wants me to prep him some stuff i will or he can just buy him some stuff at the store that he can just pop in the oven because he's not on keto and i noticed that when i don't have meals planned out like i'm trying to bacon off i'm over here talking and i burnt my damn bacon hold on y'all um but i've noticed that when i don't have a plan and I don't have like meals prepared and I'm not like you know on it I tend to slip and I've only been cheating since like a few days before Thanksgiving but y'all I tell you I cheated one day one day one day and it turned into the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day and I'm really upset with myself um I have not went over my mark like I've gained like five or six pounds but I'm still in the same area of 40 pounds that I was so now it's like I've only lost like 31 or 32 pounds versus 40 but I haven't went over to where I only lost like 30 pounds or 20 pounds however I need to continue to go down okay um I'm only about 35 30 pounds away before I get into the 200s thank god and I need to push myself and I need to have willpower uh like I've been praying to the Lord all day give me strength God give me strength give me strength give me strength because um for you guys who are not obese or for you guys who are not fat eating is an addiction food is an addiction unhealthy foods and sweets is an addiction and i have broke that you know they say it takes 21 days 
to break a cycle or something like that they said i had went four and a half months before i had one cheat day and it turned into a whole series of it and i am not happy with that i do not like that so i'm not gonna talk a lot but i might me a meal meal prep plan for the foods i'm gonna eat for dinner and then my like snacks i'm probably gonna do like a 20 hour fast have a four hour window or 80 hour fast and do a six hour window i'm not sure yet but um I'm gonna write down everything that I need for dinner and a quick like little snack that I can have like on my way home um, from work and I'm gonna try to eat that on the way home from work and um, have my dinner and I'm gonna try to eat dinner by like four five o'clock the latest excuse me and I just had to find a, uh, a routine that works for me I had a routine when I was working um, but now that I'm home a lot more and I only work five hours a day I'm more um, able to eat and I don't like that so I have to start a new cycle I have to start something new and I need to get on my A game and you know it's just not okay and I'm I know people might say oh don't beat yourself up about it but no I'm gonna beat myself up about it because I almost did six months clean of no bad foods and I do one day and I just keep going it's all about life choices it's all about my choices I did not have to eat a burger or a fry or soda or juice or cake like I put that in my mouth you know what I mean so I can't sit up here and say well I didn't have options because you are on your own now you grown you grocery shop, you meal prep, you plan, you do what you need to do to make sure that you do not fall behind. And that's what I need to do. So I'm about to go ahead and eat. I'm waiting for this chicken to get done. And I crinkled the cream cheese over it and the bacon. And yes, I will see you guys. Um, I'll probably just show you guys my food this afternoon and then close the vlog off. Because I have a lot of meal ideas i need to get on pinterest I need to watch these videos get on pinterest get on facebook and just get some stuff together so i will see you guys this is dinner have my rice up call it my rice cauliflower i just add a little bit of ranch season excuse my nail <laughs> i just add a little bit of ranch seasoning to it and um a little bit of himalayan salt and then this is my chicken bacon ranch um this one fell on the pan <laughs> so it's a little wonky but this is pretty much how it turns out and this is dinner and I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog.